Bye. Today is Friday. I have no idea when I'm going to be putting this video out. But uh, yeah, just a, just a kick it around Calgary kind of a day. I'm on my way to go get my haircut. So yeah, I'm going to Chin Whiskey on Edmonton Trail. That's where I go to uh, for my beard and uh, I know how to sort of deal with my mustache and stuff. So yeah, let's go get a haircut. These are my very first glasses that uh, change with the sunlight. And no one told me that they don't work inside of a car. So after I bought them, I had to go and buy clip-ons. I work for a really great company. And one of the things that they do all summer long from May until this weekend <clears throat> is they let everyone out an hour early on Fridays of every long weekend. That's pretty cool. I was only thinking about that because, uh, well, it's it's almost um, it's 20 to 5 in Calgary, and that's generally is pretty horrible as far as trying to get anywhere. Luckily, I'm staying in my quadrant of the city, and that makes things a whole lot easier. You know, it's just driving me crazy. Today is the last, well, it's the last day of August and um, it's still August but the trees are starting to change like, one thing about living in Canada is you got to be able to accept the changing weather I guess it makes us um, appreciate the summer just heading uh, towards downtown I'm on Center Street here in Calgary Two minutes to spare. My buddy Peter just called. We're going fishing on Sunday. It's a long weekend. Oh, this is this is awesome. It's a cool place. I'm not sure if they'll let me uh, vlog inside, but I'll ask. Well, I like this place a lot. So old school. That's awesome. Hi, yep. She's cutting my hair. She's been cutting my hair for uh, half a year. No, yeah, for a while. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's see how this goes. I'm as shiny as a new penny. Keep your knife sharp. It's very important. I have a new recipe coming up right now for you guys. This is another keto. It's on the verge. The, you'll see. It's, it's, it's low carb. It's not no carb. I'm making sweet and sour cabbage, red cabbage, with farmer sausage. This harvest, I don't know if it's just in Canada or what. 
So good. Not very complicated, not a lot of ingredients. We got a nice head of purple cabbage, got a red onion, a couple of green apples, and this farmer sausage. We have vinegar and, and for us it's uh, Splenda. So the first thing that I do is chopping this guy up. <laughs> Reminds me of Benny Hill. There was this old British television show and there was this bald guy and Benny Hill used to go up to him all the time. And <laughs> like a mountain of pork cabbage. I love that I have a cutting board that can handle an entire cabbage. When you're chopping, everything isn't exactly the same. Who cares? Time to get the pot hot. You're using a buddy shield. Oh, buddy, you're all stressed. <laughs> it really hasn't been very long and I'm gonna put this stuff in now. Everything's harder when you're vlogging. Yeah, I'm just gonna cook these till the onions are pretty translucent. So because I so filled this pot with purple cabbage, I am going to fry up the sausage in a totally separate pan. And um, then I can integrate them together because once this stuff is cooked, it's gonna fall down. It's gonna collapse on itself as the moisture and stuff comes out of it and its structure comes apart. Well, these pans are big, but I'm making a lot of food and then it's making everything look smaller. That stuff is all coming along really good. Cabbage is cooking down. This is going to be a while. I'm going to throw a couple of babies in with that cabbage. I'm going to throw the lid on this cabbage now because now I can let it just sort of steam in there. We'll get it to break down quicker. So now I'm integrating the sausage in with the cabbage and I'm going to continue to let it cook. Time for the vinegar, for the sour, and the sweetener, which we're just using Splenda um, instead of sugar. So I don't really measure things with lots of recipes, so I just eye it out. So why don't you just, just watch what I'm doing here. and. I'm going to say that I'm putting in about a third of a cup, if I was to guess, about a third of a cup. And then I would do about the same with the Splenda. Maybe not quite, like maybe a quarter of a cup. Pour that in and we'll see. Mm, I think the sweet and sour is good, but it needs to cook more. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> He's a jumper. There you go. I think it is done. It's honestly one of my favorite meals. It's a little salty. If I did say anything negative about it, um, a little salty. Uh, totally up to you, but I like adding some of this. Scooch you. Scooch. Good boy. Thank <laughs> you.